Taiwan is under attack. Unpredictable forces of nature threaten the ambitions of this Asian economic giant. To fight back, the island's best minds race to deliver innovative ideas. High-tech factories that manufacture ultra-safe building blocks and assemble them ultra-fast. Now, Taiwan's unconventional construction method faces its ultimate test. How to prefabricate buildings of all shapes and sizes. A billion-dollar high-tech factory. A 22,000-seat stadium and a towering 38-story residential block. Tempestuous weather, near impossible deadlines, and the constant threat of earthquakes combine to make the engineer's job even tougher. This is like Lego, but it's a million times harder and bigger. If they succeed, Taiwan's prefab magic will become a man-made marvel. Taiwan, a mountainous island more than 30,000 square kilometers in size. Home to 23 million people. Rapid industrialization in the late 20th century transformed it into an Asian economic giant. Its foreign reserves are now among the world's largest. But Taiwan's growing economy is vulnerable. The island is continually attacked by one of nature's most destructive forces, earthquakes. We have about 200 earthquakes of magnitude 5 every year. And then perhaps we have um, uh, earthquake of magnitude of uh, 6 about every 3 or 4 a year. Taiwan's geological instability is due to its position on the Earth's crust. It sits precariously on the fault line between the Eurasian and the Philippine Sea plates. Constant movement between these two creates powerful shock waves, producing the many earthquakes experienced by Taiwan. Dangerously exposing its densely populated cities to potential devastation. The many building may not be sufficiently uh, strong enough to resist the earthquake force. Beams and columns could be cracked, and even more seriously, building could be collapsed and uh, causing uh, loss of lives. September 21st, 1999. Taiwan's worst nightmare came true. A massive earthquake, more than seven on the Richter scale, strikes the small town of Chi Chi. It's so powerful that it even rocks Taipei. In the end, more than 2,000 people lose their lives. The disaster, named the Chi Chi earthquake, cost Taiwan around $9 billion in infrastructure damage. Coming up with stronger building methods is now Taiwan's immediate priority. Government agencies and universities begin exploring innovative ideas to strengthen Taiwan's buildings. Multi-million dollar city icons like Taipei 101 spare no expense to arm themselves with state-of-the-art anti-earthquake devices. Amongst the many individuals working to create unique solutions is engineer Dr. Samuel Yin. Samuel Yin is a very, 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 very
Dr. Yin is quick to identify the source of a building's vulnerability when facing an earthquake. It's columns and beams. An earthquake attacks them with its powerful lateral movements, violently bending their steel skeletons and causing the concrete bodies to shatter inside and out. As soon as they collapse, the building they hold up is as good as finished. Dr. Yin's solution is to replace the squarey shape of a standard beam or column steel skeleton with a unique circular design. He calls it the Yin Spiral. The Yin Spiral is twice as stiff to keep its shape during the fiercest quakes. It can also dissipate energy more evenly to keep the concrete around it intact, preventing the building it supports from collapsing. But turning Dr. Yin's unique design into a reality is easier said than done. Construction normally takes place on site, exposed to erratic weather conditions and prone to human error. Dr. Yin turns to the magic of prefabrication or prefab construction for a faster and more accurate alternative. Unlike traditional construction, prefab takes place indoors where the climate is controlled, making the work super fast and hyper efficient. The finished building blocks are then assembled rapidly on location. It's like putting together a mega Lego set on steroids. The process is a series to break it apart and then to build it. Convinced he's found the perfect method, Dr. Yin builds Taiwan's largest and most advanced prefab plant. Ten soccer fields in size. So efficient, it can churn out 100,000 cubic meters of concrete blocks in a single year. The plant's biggest challenge? To customize their prefab process for buildings of totally different shapes and sizes. A billion dollar high-tech factory a 22,000 seat stadium and a towering 38 story luxury residential block. Tough deadlines, the unforgiving Taiwanese terrain and the threat of typhoons will take engineers to breaking point. Will success seal their reputation as Taiwan's genius builder? Taiwan, home to one of the world's largest prefabrication factories. The giant work floor, 10 soccer fields in area, manufactures concrete blocks for mega buildings, ultra fast and ultra strong. Unlike conventional structures, these prefab buildings can also withstand the most violent earthquakes. 我們可建築,第一個呢,品質呢比傳統的高很多,第二呢,時間呢,往往用不到一半,效率很高。The secret to this factory lies in its finely tuned four-stage process. The 
the steel shop, where high-grade steel is cut and bent into shape. The assembly line, where the steel skeletons of prefab building blocks are put together. And a concrete casting and molding facility, where the mega building blocks get their final shape ready for delivery. Operational efficiency is crucial, but it's the ingenious machines that give production an edge. Giant spring manufacturing equipment churns out unique steel spirals that form the skeleton of columns and beams. It's an eco-friendly process that reduces the demand for raw steel by 30%. The factory is geared up for the challenge ahead. Time now to turn theory into practice. Are they up to the task? To prefab three massive buildings of different sizes and shapes in record time. The Taipei Stadium. The 38-story Ocean Blue Condominium. And the largest of all, the 600,000 square meter Inelux plant. Inelux is a homegrown liquid crystal display manufacturer in Taiwan's rapidly growing IT industry. The billion dollar business is one of Taiwan's most important exports. For companies like Inelux to stay competitive, they require high-tech factories to assemble their sophisticated products. The faster they get their factory built, the earlier they can generate income. 60 Inelux's latest factory is their most ambitious to date. In 12 months, engineers have to complete the building and also make it earthquake-proof to protect the factory's sophisticated equipment. It's a punishing set of challenges that no standard building methods can meet. Except for prefabrication. Here we have the rebar cage. This Engineer Mo is, is in charge of constructing a building that's up to the job. You know, in the conventional way, if we want to build such a big project, we usually take two and a half years. Now we only take one year. Work starts on the plant's massive foundation. Engineers excavate a gigantic area measuring 100,000 square meters. Thousands of tons of steel piles are welded together to form the building's six-story framework. But these are the easy parts. The biggest challenge is to tailor make the floors of the plant's largest clean room facility. Clean rooms are the most important part of the factory. They prevent environmental pollutants like dust or microbes from ruining the microchips that Inelux manufactures. Inside, a filtering system controls air contamination levels through multiple ventilation points built into the floor. This means that clean room floors are riddled with large holes. So how do you construct a giant floor filled with hundreds of holes while making it earthquake proof? The engineer's plan is to split the clean room's 48,000 square meters of flooring into 1,800 smaller sections, making them easier to prefabricate. Then, to strengthen each piece, they will double the amount of steel and concrete. At the same time, a massive net of steel will form the frame of the floor, holding the pieces together. 
In this way, the customized floor is strong and stable enough to withstand the most violent quakes. With the perfect plan in place, the prefab factory now needs to build the perfect floor. First, a crack force of craftsmen binds the steel skeleton of each floor slab together. The work is fast-paced and done entirely by hand. And then, we have using this skeleton put inside of the mold. Here is the mold. Here you can see because that they have all these grooves and then all the skeleton of this our concrete slab. They will be fixed into the right location. After the skeleton inside and we put the bucket inside here and then we cast the concrete. As the concrete is poured into the mold, the plastic buckets help to form the shape of the vital ventilation holes. With just 22 molds, the factory is able to prefab all 1800 floor pieces in less than three months. And because we have to insert all these tubes to get the ventilation, it looks like a cheese, so that we call it cheese slab. The last stage of the process is to install each of the 25-ton floor slabs. Not on the ground floor, but four stories up. For engineers, it's the most dangerous part of the construction. The most dangerous things, is you can see, for this 25 tons uh, slab, we have to lift it up, up to about 30, 30 meter height, and insert into the about 10 meter narrow gap. For a job like this, you need a heavy lifter. A 120 ton crane capable of hoisting these giant blocks into place. A crew at the top slides and drops the massive sections into the steel framework. You can see, now it's up to the right floor and we have to get that one into that one. The, the most dangerous part is inserting the slab. If it doesn't make properly, then we have a big problem. This is a big disaster. After a harrowing half an hour, and with only inches to spare, the slab rests safely at the top and is moved into position. Over 10 months, engineers install thousands more floor slabs and put the finishing touches to the factory. Completion of the project is at last a success. This is an exciting uh, experience for me because we have to finish this big project in such a short time. And the precast help us to accomplish this mission. With the Interlux plant completed, engineers turn their attention to another mega project. The 70 million dollar Taipei Stadium. It usually takes over 30 months to build a stadium this size. But engineers are going to use prefab to shave more than five months off the schedule. If they succeed, it will be the fastest stadium ever built in Taiwan. Only one problem. The city of Taipei sits on some of the softest soil on the island. A condition made worse by an extremely high water table that rises during the annual typhoon season. 
If engineers want to get the stadium ready in time, they will have to prevent it from sinking into the ground. Homegrown innovation has been the powerhouse that's propelled Taiwan into the future. The island's largest prefabrication factory is attempting its most ambitious projects to date. Constructing three mega buildings in record times. Engineers took just one year to complete the massive 600,000 square meter Inalux plant. Now they turn their attention to their next two missions. The 38-story Ocean Blue condominium and the 22,000-seat Taipei Stadium. Commissioned specially for the 2009 Deaf Olympics, the stadium has to be ready in less than 25 months. It usually takes more than 30 months to complete something this big. If engineers succeed, they will make construction history. Engineer Tsung leads the project. Back at the prefab factory, engineers customize the stadium's 900 seating slabs. Specially designed molds of different sizes and shapes churn out the 15 centimeter thick parts. This way, 16 seating slabs can be completed in a single day. A feat conventional methods will find hard to beat. More than 40 steel trusses are also prefabricated to form the stadium's roof each weighing 35 tons. Everything is ready to be assembled. But first, engineers have to overcome a sticky problem that could ruin their foundation. Soft clay. This unstable soil underlies Taipei because the city sits on a basin. And as the basin